Hey everybody, what is going on? Fallout here, and uh, I thought we would take the Recluse into PvP tonight. I uh, haven't really shown off any gameplay or review of the weapon yet. I'm working on that in my spare time, which is very limited these days, but I really wanted to put out a little gameplay of the weapon. Maybe we could do another in-game live commentary like the previous one on Thorn. I'm on my Hunter tonight because I get plenty of comments from people asking me why I'm always playing Warlock in my videos, so figured I would play a little Hunter tonight. As always, we are gonna do this live, so I better not do a terrible job, otherwise that would be really awkward. Why don't we talk about the Recluse while we load up into the match. This is the pinnacle weapon for PvP in Season 6, meaning if you want this gun, you have to go and play comp. Uh, not exactly a strong endorsement for the gun. Uh, I don't know how to put this lightly. I would rather drag my nut through two miles of broken glass than even go into comp for more than five minutes at a time. But that's a video for another day. Uh, the Recluse, it's a 900 RPM SMG. So if you remember the Mida Mini Tool from way back when, kind of like that, I play on console with a controller, so this weapon is relatively difficult to control. If I played on M and K, it would be a whole other story. It's got lightweight frame, so you can move a little bit quicker when using it. It has Feeding Frenzy, great perk for the weapon, because you really are going to be using it to get a lot of kills in the heat of the moment, and Feeding Frenzy can help you reload the gun quickly and stay in the fight without feeling like you're out of the fight or at a disadvantage because you're reloading. And here is, you know, the perk, Master of Arms. When you get a kill with any weapon, not just the, the SMG, a uh, kill with any weapon, you trigger the window for Master of Arms to be activated. You can switch to the gun. I think you have a three and a half second window to switch to the gun, and then you will activate Master of Arms by switching to the gun, and it pumps your damage up to 25 damage per bullet, either in the head or in the body. So eight shots directly to the body. It's 200 damage right there. That's enough to kill... Pretty much anybody. You got a range masterwork for more accuracy, more damage drop-off point, which is pretty nice. I put sprint grip on, but uh, to be honest, you could probably put a lot of mods on this thing. It would be fine. You could put on uh, Icarus if you were so inclined. I don't have it right now. You could put on backup mag. Uh, you know, there's a whole... Actually, I haven't tested it yet, but you probably could put counterbalance stock on for those of you who play on controller. Wow. But uh, yeah, enough chit-chat. Why don't we go shoot people uh, in the face? As you can tell, I am not wearing the Stompies. I'm wearing the Dragon, which I think is a fairly underutilized piece of armor. I think everybody goes for the Stompies these days. So I figured, why why do that? Everybody does that. I don't want to be that guy. I want to wanna be different. So the, the goal is to... Activate Master of Arms, which I have a 3.5 second window right there. Got it. Okay, here we go. There we go. Oh, hello. <laughs> so when you get the perk activated, it is a very quick time to kill. 0.47 seconds. Very, very quick. And you'll notice that I'm actually running with no special ammo right now. No shotgun, no sniper, no fusion, no anything. I'm running double primary. Kind of risky, but it actually works with the recluse. A little difficult to control on control, as you just saw, when they're at a certain range. Uh, you know, it's very difficult to control the excess recoil. You have to really have them be relatively right up next to you. Otherwise, you're going to be in a lot of trouble here. Kind of like how I'm in a lot of trouble right now. Dodge. Oh, Millie. Okay. 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 Oh, alright. Oh. oh, good shot, good shot. Whew. Yeah, this, uh, <laughs> kind of a risky loadout, because you don't have a shotgun. So if you're caught up close, you could be really destroyed in a matter of moments. But when the build works well, what can I tell you? It works well. You're looking for any opportunity you can to activate the Master of Arms. Got double teamed right there, not gonna happen all the time. And it won't activate on any ability. So if I get a grenade kill or a melee kill, that's not gonna activate the perk, but a weapon kill like that. So you have 3.5 seconds to switch, just did. Brilliant, that's exactly how the gun works. 
You don't have to switch right away. You have, like I said, 3.5 second window. Plenty of time. Doesn't seem like a lot. I promise you that it is. Come on, come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Don't do me like that. I'm being surrounded here. I need your help. Oh, man. I'm I'm effed right now. Eat. Get out. Get out. Oh. Really? Who? I, okay, who hit me with a grenade launcher? That would be you. <laughs> you jerk. Who is using a grenade launcher in the meta right now? On console? I didn't know that uh, Cami Cakes was on PlayStation 4 for the day. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, come on, buddy. There we go. Okay. Oh, frick. Huh, a lot of go figures out tonight. I actually prefer pairing the recluse with the Bygones Pulse Rifle. Pretty reliable pulse rifle in the console meta. You can pair it with other things. You know, the recluse, you got a lot of options. You could pair it with the Chattering Bone, uh, Mita Multi Tool if you're feeling kind of weird. Jade Rabbit, if you're feeling really weird and you're on a big map. Uh, any kinetic primary that you really enjoy using, you can pair it together. Could pop my super. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, man. Everywhere. This is not good. Not good. Excuse me, sir. Coming through, my bad. Spin. Spin to win. Spin to win. Spin to win. That guy wasn't even looking. You know, my old Little League coach used to tell me, you know... Fallout? He, he called me Fallout. Uh, never go down swinging. That guy went down swinging. Neat. Okay, really? I, I'm gonna admit, I have not used the Legend of Acreus in a minute. I thought it would be fun to put her on and uh, give her a whirl because, you know, everybody uses the Wardcliff coil and, uh, really? I'm in quick play and, you know, the YouTube comment section can be quite ruthless for going into quick play with the Not Forgotten and or Dust Rock Blues and or Wardcliff Coil. And, uh, you know, I want to appease the YouTube comment section. Gods, that's a Spectral Blade right next to me, isn't it? Yep. You know, you will be shocked how difficult it is to maintain a discussion with yourself the entire duration of a game while trying to perform relatively well. You would be shocked. Just the Havoc. We don't play by that rule. Okay, come on, buddy. Ugh, you know, there are some times when you just can't activate the Master of Arms. If I had tried to keep shooting him, probably would have died, but for the melee, I got the melee kill. You know, I need to make one of those choices. God, I love this gun. Ouch. This game's not going too bad. Score is a little close right now. Now, a lot of people are probably going to be wondering, is the Recluse better than uh, the Luna or the, the Not Forgotten? And that's not really a question I can answer. It probably depends a lot on what... Oh, God. <laughs> what platform you, pl you play on and what input method. If you play on M and K, I would imagine that the Recluse would probably be really dirty with uh, the minimal recoil and with... Console, I'm guessing that the Not Forgotten would probably be your bread and butter because it completely dominates the PvP meta right now. Very much easier to use at range rather than trying to compare, rather than trying to control the recoil on a 900 RPM SMG, which, like, I'm doing fine now because they're relatively close to me, but if you get further away, it becomes more and more difficult. Maybe I can go into that in another video if more people are interested. A compare and contrast, if you will, on both weapons in PvP, what each brings to the table and what might be a good console or overall usage for one, wow, when compared to the other. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So far, I'm not missing my shotgun too much. I love to shotgun, but you know, having a good up close weapon like the recluse, it makes it better. Spin to win. Why are these people not shooting me when I spin? It's the normal reaction. Yeet. Can I help you? Ah, uh, hey buddy, don't you dare! Don't you encooch me? It's the second encooch reference in two videos. 
Why, why do you love Enku so much? I don't know, bro. He's really cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. If that guy had quick scoped me right there, I'm not gonna lie to you, YouTube. I would have ended the recording on the video and made a new video. <laughs> you can't have something like that in the video. Oh, perfect usage of the recluse. Come on, give me another. There we go. A little hard on the recoil there. That's okay, Fallout. Don't beat yourself up. Arc bolt. Eat it out. Can I get another? Can I get another? Yes. Yes, I can. Stay away from me, bro. Don't do it. Better guardians have tried. Yeet. <laughs> That's not... Oh, God. <laughs> I deserve that. Well, you know, really great way to show that when you're in the zone with the recluse, you know, you're in that perfect window. People are near you. They're charging you. They're feeding you over and over. You're playing it smart. You're getting the perk to activate. You're keeping them within the ideal range of the weapon. You don't want to get too close, because if you get too close, you enter shotgun territory. And if you give them the window to give you the old dust rock treatment, guess what? They're going to do it to you. They're going to do you dirty like that. Don't let them... Don't let him do you dirty like that. Can I? Is this like, like stalking me? Okay, here we go. See that? See, he's got a shotgun because he fired one at me. He whipped it. I don't know if he had another shot or if he was out of ammo, but you don't want to get too close when you know they have a shotgun. Otherwise, it is bad news bears. Don't do it. Okay. I really like the hunter for. Oh god, for the recluse because. The Hunter does really good in, in the air, very good vertical movement. I'm really feeling it, you know, you can jump over people, confuse them with the SMG, you can get some spray shots on the way down. Really good combo. This guy again, man, you gotta commit to those shotgun plays better, buddy. You gotta COO, oh god, C-O-M-M-I-T, Artful, yeah. spin to win, spin to win, spin to win. Yeah, there it is. Where you at? Where you at? Oh! <laughs> meet my stick. It's dying to meet you. Alright, bitch rock over here. Don't do it. I thought he was gonna... <laughs> I had deja vu. I thought he was gonna hard scope me right there. But he didn't. He's, he's a polite guardian. He didn't do it. Alright. Shotgun attempt. Take two. Give him the old nut cannon. Do people still call it that? I don't know where I heard that from, the nut cannon. GG, Guardians! GG, that is a quick and uh, dirty demonstration on how the Recluse SMG performs in, you know, your regular PvP game. It's got a uh, good killing power for up close, very quick time to kill, very snappy weapon, really fun to pair with a good mid to mid long range weapon, like I was using the Bygones, you know, any kinetic pulse rifle, any kinetic scout rifle, if you got a hand cannon you like for up there, you know, like the better devils, uh, you know, you can, you, can, you can look around. Look around for whatever you like. You don't need to have a special weapon to pair together with the recluse. Now, if you don't have the gun yet, I know a lot of people don't have the gun because it's a comp weapon. Kind of hard to push yourself to grind for it because the comp experience in my opinion, is so bad right now, but, uh, you know, you can do it. If you haven't seen it yet, check down below in the comment section and in the video description for my link to uh, a video I did earlier on how to win in comp, how to get Fabled rank relatively easy by playing smart in the meta. Check that video out if you haven't already. And uh, that is going to be it for my video on the Recluse short PvP gameplay. I can do more in-depth stuff later if you like. Let me know down below in the comment section what you would like to see. If you haven't done so already, please give my channel a subscribe. Free to do, it helps me out a whole bunch and I would appreciate it greatly. And uh, if you get a chance, head on over to twitch.tv slash falloutplays. Throw me a follow there and we can hang out when I stream live. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.